it's not all the time you go ahead and release a card like this. Mr. Swayback, I don't feel so good. Testing, testing, one, two, three. What's happening, boys, and welcome to the 88 MLS League SBC Ike Opara, one of the most jacked off cards that we have ever seen, possibly in any FIFA ever, and instantly becomes one of the center backs that needs to be taken seriously as arguably one of the best. It is a 400, it's near a 476 total in-game stat upgrade, goes from 1776 total in-game stats uh, to, th to 2224, and sees himself just get an absolutely, absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous looking card, um, which is the card obviously that we're going to look at today. But like I always say, boys, uh, you guys absolutely crushed the support on Fatal yesterday. Really happy to have a series alongside the players' wave views as well. Uh, might even try and splash some of these, like, 10 icon moments. Um, I've opened about 20 for you guys on stream for the over the past few days, uh, and I might try to comp uh, compile a couple of those together for you guys just to mix the content up a little bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see that as well, if you guys are enjoying this Ico Para epi, which, you know, it looks like he's going to be the most broken center back in the game, but we are about to find out. Like I always say, boys, drop a mad lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below. Now, what do you get with an 88 Ico Para that, as part of the uh, MLS League SBC? Took us about 45 minutes to complete it. I, I speed bought things, so I think it came in around 150, maybe 180,000 coins, something along those lines. Uh, you get two star, two star, you get the medium high, you get the six two. So right off the bat, the six two and the medium high is beautiful. Like that's ideal. That's the perfect work rates you want for your center back. But the, the stats that you see on the card only tell half the story. You have to dive in to the 86 acceleration with the 96 sprint speed. We have jacked that off with the anchor chem style. Goes up to 89 and 99 respectively. His passing stats are 99 short passing and 90 long passing. His agility is 97. His balance is 85. Reactions is 95. And then his ball control and dribbling, which is going to be interesting to look at, 72 and 65 respectively with 85 composure. But then we mosey on over to defending stats. Really, really good. 84, de 84 defensive awareness, 83 uh, sliding tackle aren't end game. But like I said, boys, anchor or shadow chem style uh, gets these all over pretty much 90. And then heading accuracy goes up to 99. Interception goes up to 88. 99 jumping, which is not something you have to worry about. I don't think it's possible for Ico Par to concede a header. If we do concede a header in this episode, yeah, you won't see it. I won't release the video. 83 stamina, 95 straight, goes up to 98, and then goes up to 99. 98. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 99 aggression. 99 aggression with 99 short passing. 99 sprint speed with 97 agility. Tell me who's better. Tell me a better center back in the game. And of course we had to throw him around an emotional squad. We've got that Weston McKinney, who I very much regret not doing on the RTG. We're going to be playing him on 7 chem. I believe he's on 7 chem. Yep, we've got Opara on 8. Not too difficult to link him. Uh, we've got Pulisic, who we're just going to be bringing off. We have him in there for emotionality reasons. We're going to be bringing on myself as a right, uh, as the left back. And then we're going to be playing him alongside Ike Opara. We've got Schweini. We've got Kimmich. We've got Gnabs. Uh, player moment Sané. And again, I, I just want to get some more time. Uh, I just want to get some more time with Erling uh, because he is our fatal player and I do want to get more practice with that card. So we had a Vidal card that came out today for 400,000 coins as well and then an 850,000 coin player of the month, Bruno Fernandez, who only gets plus ones and no pace upgrades compared to his 89 winter refresh card. So, I don't know. If you can get it done for about the price of the winter refresh... I mean, no. If you get it for done for the price of the winter refresh, you should just buy the winter free refresh. But if you can get it done for, I don't know, half the price of that, maybe even a 60%, um, I would say go ahead and do it. It looks like a pretty nuts looking card. But uh, maybe we do an episode here tomorrow. You guys let me know if you want to see either Vidal or um, or that Bruno episode here tomorrow. But let's not delay things any further. Let's take this uh, this American dream team, this American uh, dream backline. Uh, let's get into match number one. Los Gates. You know what I'm generally thinking about right now? Sorry. I'm generally wondering what my opponent is thinking when he's coming up against me right now. Like, I wonder what's going through his mind when he sees that Opara. His name is his name is Skip the Replay. Hey. I've got a rude I've got a rude awakening for you, my man. I'm not skipping that replay. Because we got a special little we got a special celebration that we're gonna be doing with Opara when we score with him. Dude, he just looks like he's ready to kill. Look at the pace! 
hey, you want to know what? You saw that dribbling right there? He felt a little bit clunky on that. I, I felt a little bit nervous like he was going to get, uh, that he was going to get depossessed. Hey, but at the end of the day, the mad lad comes to the rescue. See, he's strong enough to hold on to the ball, but he has a tenuous grasp on the ball. I'll say that. There we go. The Schweiger man! The Schweidey! He came out two weeks into the release of FIFA and he's still relevant. And this is the celebration I was talking about, the karate kick. It looks so sick, dude. I'd love to score with uh, I'd love to score with Apara. You love to see it on a Monday. Representing to representing MLS, dude. Schweini with a distance banger. We knew he was gonna put it through. Uh, and then have Ike Oparo in there with arguably some of the most ridiculous stats of a center back that we've seen. I, I mean, like, I'll wait. Like, I, maybe... I mean, I know people love that 85... That 85 Rio Van Dijk is obviously, arguably, realistically, he's probably the best center back in the game. But this Ike Oparo card, dude. Look at the catch-up. Dude, he doesn't even have to work to... To pretty much catch up to anyone. That was my bad. Sunny, Omar, Timo Werner, ambitious. I knew he was off, but I was just so excited at the prospect of possibly scoring with him like that. Hey, and that wasn't actually that wasn't too far off. And he finished. It wasn't like his keeper gave up. He's like his keeper actually. That would have been in. Timo Werner. Come on! Monster. Okay, look at the look at the defensive positioning. Look at Opara on the cover, on the marking. That's not his fault. No, and he got in the way there. You saw that? Got right in the way of his defender. Now the agility's good, but see, this is the sort of fun card. Like that Vidal dude. We get a special Vidal every day. We get a, it, it, like we get a special Vidal every year, man. Can we please get someone, like, I know that, you know, Barca supporters are going to love that, uh, you know, Chilean supporters are going to love that card, he's an absolute freaking legend and all that, but it's just such a, it's such a, I, I suppose, is predictable the right word to use? Oh, this is easy. Easy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> go on, Weston. Yes! And he's out. Hey, the combo of Aparo and uh, Erling was just a little bit too much for him to handle, dude. Hey, Vaz. Hey, take it easy, my man. Hopefully you have a great rest of the day. That's a big dub for me, boss man. So somehow only a 7.8 for Ike. Almost gets himself a goal. Dribbles completed 7 out of 9. Tackles won 3 out of 3. So perfect there. 3 out of 3. And very, very good. Hey. Dare I say it? That is a massive, that is a massive dub, boss man. You guys know I'm a stickler for, for like, agility. Like, the, the agility is great, reactions is good, but then the ball control and dribbling. I wonder even if... Hmm. Is there, a, is there something that would get his dribbling and defending jacked off massively? Let's try Guardian. Let's see what what is uh, what, what does he look like with a Guardian on him. Okay, ball control goes up 7. So that's 79, and then only plus 3 dribbling, plus 3 composure, and then agility gets maxed off to... jacked off to 99. Let's try this. Defending goes up to, defensive awareness goes up to 94. Slide tackle goes up to 93. You know what, maybe this is a shout. Instead of spreading across, um, inst instead of spreading the stats across three, we maximally jack off the uh, defending stats and then get some really, really nice, uh, really nice dribbling boost. Let's try this. So my dude Pikelme just tweeted out, just compared Opara to a moment's Rio, would think Rio is still the GOAT, but Opara is right there, just lagging a bit on elite defensive stats. You could do all the swaps and have Maldini Opara for the rest of the year for three to 400K and a few hours of your time. That's pretty cool. That's, hey, that is kind of cool. Opara. What the hell Almost. That's it. There we go. It's a done deal. Let's do the karate kick. He might be out of here. There we go. Hey, 
Should have been two. Should have easily been two. I don't know. What do you guys think about the Vidal? I just think it's a very boring selection. Look at the kit combo with Aikopara's boots. It's not happening, lad. He's... He's just... He's not made one error. And he's on and he's ah! Absolute beast! Not only can I take the ball away, but because he's got nuts passing stats, he can actually do stuff with it. Yeah, that was my fault. I took him out of position. That was my bad. I literally, I literally just left West, West of McKinney on an island. Timo Werner. Why is that? I don't know, Shell. Good enough. Get out. You're not referee. Piss off. Referee, are you kidding me? To end the game, you're not going to call that? All right, an 8.3 for Ike Opara. He gets himself. What did he have? Another five out of five. Perfect tackling. West of McKinney as well. Uh, dribbles complete a 10 out of 10, tackles one 5 out of 5. So between those two stats, very, very nice there. Uh, passes completed 13 out of 14. I mean, like, literally, none of, none of what, what none of what we did with Opara or McKenny was wrong. We just literally pulled we, we pulled Opara out mainly for the goal that ended up giving him the win. So, you know, it happens in FIFA. It is what it is. This episode, it has to be cut a little bit short. I have somewhere I have to be in about an hour's time. Uh, so I just wanted to get into a couple games and get a feel for this Ike Opara card. And I have to say, man... I mean, I know you can't say best defender after two games. You can't say best defender in the entire game, but you, you get a really good feel. You get a good enough feel for a player, um, sometimes even after just a match. Just like if you do something with a body feint, um, or you do something with a skill move, or you notice something that he does. Obviously, of course, you want the weekend league experience. That's where I take guys uh, and do the uh, the full experiment. That sounds a little bit weird. Uh, but Ike Opara, even on 7 or 8 chem, plays like an absolute madman. I wonder what he would feel like on 10. I'm sure there's not a, a whole lot of a difference. Obviously, it's just the chem style boost. But um, a very, very interesting set of games, and he was completely locked down. He can catch up. You could literally be going, you could literally make the wrong turn and still be able to catch up with some guys that have just ridiculous pace uh, in their own right. So, um, in terms of value for me, I'm not going to say it's the best value. It's not a, it's not a super cheap SBC to do. So, uh, for value, I am going to give it a three out of five, but in terms of on the pitch performance, I am going to give it a five out of five. So if there's a league, I know there's 24 slots in the MLS. It's a, it's a pretty deep one where that it's one of the, it's one of the leagues with the most clubs in it is what I mean. Um, but for that, what I would recommend doing is if you want this Opara, uh, go ahead and do him. I would give him a thumbs up. It's going to take time for you to complete it. If you don't already have a stack club, but it's something you can slowly grind towards. It's going to be there for for the remainder of FIFA, that's again, that's sort of like one of these player moments SPCs where the Psycho Para is going to be there. And no joke, this Psycho Para is probably going to be really, really good, um, even through team of the season. Dare I say it, he's going to be someone that's going to be like a top five center back, even through team of the season. And uh, for me, he's a thumbs up if he's a guy that you want to slowly grind towards, or if you want him now, pair him up with a Weston McKinney play him on seven or eight chem uh would be perfectly fine with me but uh like i said boys gonna give it a thumbs up incredible defensive stats incredible pace uh the ball control and dribbling is a little bit meh agility is good it's weird because he's got good agility but just the ball control and dribbling leaves a little bit to be desired which is why i put the guardian chem style on him um and i think that really brings him out and and has him living his best life but that is gonna do it boys for the ike opara captain america episodia hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you did drop a like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.